reindeer is now on the endangered species list. Where is the reindeer endangered, you might ask? Well, originally found in Scandinavia, Eastern Europe, Russia, Mongolia, and Northern China, as well as Alaska, Canada, Northern Sakhalin, Greenland, and most likely Scotland and Ireland. But today the wild reindeer have vanished from almost everywhere. They are only left and still threatened in Siberia, Greenland, Alaska, and some parts of southern Norway and Canada. Domesticated reindeer are endangered in northern Scandinavia, Russia, and Iceland. Why are they endangered? Two words, climate change. The temperature, weather, and landscape are all changing in the Arctic. Reindeer particularly need to have access to the different plants and native shrubs that grow in the tundra, which is now becoming more difficult. There is usually a light snow that falls on this area, but now because of the climate change, this is turning into heavy, icy, frozen rain. It is freezing over the plants available, so the reindeer cannot access them for food. They are starving or spending too much energy searching for something to eat. This results in starvation, malnutrition, and low reproductive rates. So, what are the steps being taken to increase species population? Well, the United States Endangered Species Act that, Obama, that the Obama administration has chosen to follow is not using this act as a way to regulate the impact of climate change due to actions here in the United States. So, to try to have international laws that really start addressing meaningful things that we are doing to contribute to climate change and global warming will help. Also, focusing more on the protection of the reindeer will lead to an increase of population. So Sam, when was the reindeer put on the endangered species list? Well, Ellie, it was put on the list in 2009. In your own words, what is a reindeer? I don't know. Females are often 130 to 370 pounds, and males are usually slightly larger, but can be up to 600 pounds. Antlers. Hooves that adapt to the season. Two layers of fur. Mainly eat lichens or moss with the occasional bird egg. Mating occurs from late September or October to early November. The males battle for the females. They lock each other's antlers together, trying to fight the other away. Males stop eating their, during this time to lose as much of its body reserves as possible. Calves are often born the following May or June. They can graze for about 45 days. They travel the farthest of any terrestrial mammal. Most migrations occur in spring or fall. Reindeer can swim easily and quickly. Today the reindeer are listed as least concerned under the endangered species list, meaning that they are enough to be put on the endangered species list, but are not enough threatened to be put on any other list. In the West Arctic herd, there are around 325,000 reindeer left. In 2003, their number peaked at 490,000. Many countries have started to stabilize their number of reindeer. In 2000, Greenland started to stabilize their number to around 98,000 reindeer. The Akia Manitsoq herd has a remaining 17,400 reindeer, and the Russia Tamir herd has a remaining 700,000, which may seem like a lot, but was once the largest herd with 1 million reindeer. There are two main organizations that are supporting the survival of the reindeer species. The first one is the Committee on the Status of Endangered Wildlife in Canada, which has stated that they are endangered and put them on the endangered species list. The second one is the World Wildlife Foundation, which is working to explore ways of reducing the future impact of mining, wind power, forestry, tourism, and predation on reindeer herding in Sweden, along with developing an Arctic-wide conservation plan for the wild reindeer and caribou. With, with your help, we can save the reindeer! <laughs>